The theorem of Pythagoras gives the relationship between the sides of a right-angled triangle. We identify the longest side, or hypotenuse, across from the right angle as side C, and then label the shorter sides A and B. If we add the squares of the shorter sides, we get the longest side squared, or as a formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And any right-angled triangle has this relationship between the shorter sides and the longest side. In this video, we use Pythagoras to calculate the third side of a triangle, given the other two sides. This may involve calculating the longest side, as in this example, or calculating one of the shorter sides, as in this example. We'll also use Pythagoras to calculate the height of an isosceles triangle. And finally, we'll show how to use the formula on a calculator to quickly get the answer. In this right-angled triangle, we need to calculate x, which is the hypotenuse, or longest side, labelled c. The other sides are labelled a and b in any order. The three sides are related by Pythagoras, so to calculate the longest side, we can substitute these values into the formula to give 4 squared plus 6 squared equals x squared and squaring the numbers gives 16 plus 36, so x squared equals 52. We take the square root of both sides, and using a calculator, we get x equals 7.2 when rounded to one decimal place. In this right-angled triangle, we know the longer side, which we label c, and we need to calculate y, one of the shorter sides, which we label a and b. The sides are related by Pythagoras, so we substitute into the formula to give 3 squared plus y squared equals 7 squared. And calculating the squares gives 9 plus y squared equals 49. We can get y squared on its own by subtracting 9 from both sides, which gives y squared equals 40. And we take the square root of 40 on a calculator to get y equals 6.3 when rounded to one decimal place. We can also use Pythagoras to calculate the height of an isosceles triangle. This height intersects the base at 90 degrees, splitting the isosceles triangle into two right-angled triangles with the base split in half. Focusing on one of these right-angled triangles, we know the longer side, which we label C. We label the other sides, A and B, and since the sides are related by Pythagoras, we substitute into the formula, giving h squared plus 2 squared equals 7 squared. Calculating the squares gives h squared plus 4 equals 49, and subtracting 4 to get h squared on its own gives h squared equals 45. Finally, taking the square root on a calculator gives the height as 6.7 when rounded to one decimal place. We can get to the answer more quickly on a calculator as follows. To work out the longest side, simply substitute the values into the formula and take the square root to get x by itself. On the calculator, be sure to use brackets around the part underneath the square root. Enter as square root open brackets, 75 x squared plus 135 x squared, close brackets, equals, which gives x equals 154 when rounded to the nearest whole number. To work out a shorter side, like this example where we need to calculate the side x, y, simply substitute the values into the formula. Then get the unknown by itself by rearranging, in this case subtracting 32 squared from both sides, and then taking the square root. Again, be sure to include brackets underneath the square root sign. Then enter as square root, open brackets, 53 x squared minus 32 x squared, close brackets, equals which gives the length xy equal to 42 when rounded to the nearest whole number. 